All right, now Samsung Messages application offers some fantastic features which we are going to take a look at in this video. Some of you guys do use Google Messages instead of Samsung Messages. I completely understand it has got its own advantages, but when it comes to Samsung Messages, we do have some brilliant features as well. Let's take a look at them today. Now, let's say you are in a message conversation and you want to answer a few questions which you get uh, from somebody and you want to copy and paste that message to the text box and then reply to it. For that, you don't really have to press and hold on the message copy text and then a tap on this text box and then paste it instead what you can do is you can just press and hold on that message and drag that message into this uh, text box and just drop it there that's the first step now the second one is you can press and hold on a message inside the conversation drag it and open that message in a pop-up view or in a split screen view you can drag it to the top or to the bottom or you can open it in the pop-up view as well let me just drag it to the top here and drop it here you see we get two options one is samsung internet and then samsung notes if you want to uh, paste that message text content inside the notes you can just tap on samsung notes you can add to an existing notes or add to new note let me tap on add to new note you see we have got the content pasted directly into the samsung notes application this is a fantastic feature now let's grab this image and uh, uh, drag it let's see if we can do that yes we will be able to drag and drop an image into the split screen view and then open it in gallery or open it in photos or any other application if you want to directly print that image you will be able to open that image from a printer application if it is available on your phone brilliant isn't it now let's look at the third one uh, you can tap on your profile here and add recipients to create a group right here let me tap on add recipients i will select a contact here i'll tap on done now i've got two contacts in this particular group whenever i send a message both the contacts will be able to see that message and if you want to call through google meet you can just tap on this google meet icon right here on top you see when i tap on that it is calling two friends that's another cool feature we have got you can just disconnect the call to share that particular calling link you can tap on share button here and send it to anyone to join the google meet group through video call next let me tap on this three dot button inside a conversation here we've got something called customized chat room when i tap on this you see we get to customize the background of this particular chat i can select the color that i want I can tap on a gallery icon to add a particular image for this particular chat. Let me just uh, select this image here and this will become the background of this particular chat. You see, this is the background here and uh, we will be able to increase the bubble opacity here or decrease the bubble opacity and we can change the text contrast as well. You see, I can use a slider to increase or decrease the text contrast here. There's some amazing customization we have got for the chat rooms or let's say chat background. And we can tap on this apply to all chat rooms to apply the same customization to all other chat backgrounds. That's cool, isn't it? Let me just go back. You see, this is a cool background effect we have got for this particular conversation here. Now let's tap on this three dot button and tap on settings. And here I will tap on more settings and tap on quick responses. Now you see we have got a few quick responses here and these responses will show up on the keyboard if you enable the show in conversation toggle. Let me just enable this. Now let's go back. Now if I'm in a conversation, let's say I open this particular contact, you see on the keyboard, it is showing up right here. We have got all these quick responses which can be selected right from here. You see, let's say I want to say, how is it going? I can just tap on this and send it here. And uh, let's say WhatsApp send it where are you send it uh, and we can also customize these options let me tap on this settings button here now you see here i can just press and hold on a particular quick response and move it around depending on our preferences now let's say we want to have whatsapp option on the top i can drag it to the top here and uh, when i go back to this conversation here whatsapp will be right here in the beginning and i can just tap on that to start a conversation with someone the quick responses will be useful if you enable it for a conversation let's see whether this appears for other conversations let's say i'll open this yes we do get these options these quick responses for any conversations now let's open more settings on the messages settings now here you see we've got a few toggles at the bottom delete old messages this will delete your oldest messages to make room for new ones after you reach 1000 texts, 100 multimedia messages or 5000 chats. Once you reach that threshold, the older messages will be deleted and it's always better to turn this toggle on so that you delete your older messages rather than just filling it up in the message application. That's a cool feature. 
Then we have got another feature here called remove location from shared images. If you enable this, whenever you are sharing an image, let's say if you have enabled the RCS messages on Samsung messages, if you are sharing any images and if that image has a location tag, then that will be deleted while you are sharing the image. So make sure to enable this particular feature if you don't want to share the location tags when you send an image. Next, we have got another important feature here, block numbers and spam. Let me tap on this. Now here you see we have got caller ID and spam protection. I'll tap on this. Now I have enabled this and I've selected only block high risk scam calls. Now this is of course for calling, but we do have this option inside the message settings as well. So we can block the high risk scam calls or block all spam and scam calls. This is a very useful feature we have got in the Samsung messages settings, which you can enable. These are some brilliant features which we have got on a Samsung messaging application. If you want to add anything else, do share it in the comment section below and let me know whether you use Samsung messages or Google messages, drop a comment. And I've also made a comparison video between the Samsung messages and Google messages. So if you missed that video, you can check that video link in the description. That's a very useful video for you guys. You will be get to know the differences between the Samsung messages and the Google messages and its features. So go ahead and check that video out. And if you're interested in this wallpaper, I have left a link for that in the description. Go ahead, download the wallpaper and be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find this video informational. Thanks for watching. My name is Salyan signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.